and his face is that of like a mace, a medieval swinging ball of weaponry. Honestly, if it had boobs and was into Supernatural, I'd consider dating it. This thing's like the perfect creature. What is going on guys? Riot here playing Ark Survival Evolved, checking out the squid. The giant squid is finally playable in Ark. Not exactly an Ark update release, but more of like a modded release because it's like so far completed in the dev kits that the gentleman who runs the Mystic Academy mod was awesome enough to add it to his mod so you could actually play and ride in combat with the giant squid early. It's such an amazing time. Here I am with my Viking hat on because it just fits my boat. What's going on so well? Look at this sexy ass thing. This Viking boat that was added to Ark, another mod, is just, it's just top knots, dude. It's got everything. It's even got little Viking shields on the sides. They're pink. I don't know why they're pink Viking shields. That kind of takes away from the masculinity, but other than that, they're pretty goddamn awesome. Now, excuse me if my voice sounds super raspy. It, it definitely is. It's like, it's really early for me right now. I haven't even showered. I just brushed my teeth. I'm a goddamn mess right now, so I feel like my voice is just destroyed. Alright, my squid's around here somewhere. Hoo hoo hoo, there he is! Alright, so how do you pronounce it? The Tuso Teufus? Tuso Teufus! I'm just gonna call it the giant squid. Because it's a pretty but goddamn big squid! Look at this thing! Look at this beast! See, it's not as ridiculously big as a lot of people thought it was gonna be, but that right there is still huge! I mean, that's still a pretty damn big size right there. That would pull you down to the depths, could rip a boat apart. It is supposed to be just especially aggressive. It's only like a relative to the giant squids and all that, which generally are peaceful. This guy is just a little smaller, more agile, and has a beak that rips flesh, bone, everything just apart like crazy. Like, look at that shit. It has like the mouth of a dodo rex just in its genitals. That's, that's hardcore. Not to mention all these spiked fibers in there just to keep you locked in. It looks like a horribly painful way to die getting sucked. Look at that thing. Jesus Christ. It's like the world's most dangerous vagina what we're looking at right now. Ooh, I like these little tentacles underneath too to help keep his target centered while he eats them while the rest just pull him in. These guys are like his feeders. What a disgusting, horrible creature. What did we ever deserve to do to deserve your existence? So here he be. There he goes, just swimming. It's actually funny, the uh, the way this is added to the game, it's a boss creature, the Zulin. Zuljin? Zulin? I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly, bro. He's like one of the most awesome Ark, uh, Ark YouTubers out there, and this is his tribute creature. So it's like honestly one of the most awesome tribute creatures. I still love mine though, the Xenomorph Rex. It's just, there's just too many great creatures. Now one thing that was tripping me out, when you get close to this guy, is it just visible? Is it just on yours? Is it just that when you get close, you see him for what he actually is? Because he gets... He gets bright red when you get, he like glows as you get near. He's like one big Rudolph fish. This guy is nuts, and yes, of course you could ride him. He's very agile in the ocean. He's just a sea torpedo. Oh, that's amazing. What a cool creature. Finally, this guy is like about to... It, it, you know what? He's already added to my world, because I'm using the mod, but for those of you who don't like using mods and just like checking these videos out, he is about to be officially added as well, but he won't be as cool as this one. See, the only downside to it being the mo Oh my god, look at those tentacles and back. What the fuck are the- It's just whenever- Holy crap, he's so colorful! Do you just go- Is it- Is it- I can't tell if it's- It's gotta just be the lighting down here, right? The lighting's just very different on his colors. It can't be that it's like a- Yeah, no, it's gotta just be the lighting. What the hell is going on over there? There's like a giant red Carno, a giant green Carno, and a big blue Bronto. It's like a fucking pack of Skittles duking it out over there. Ooh! What the hell was that? Is that just your tentacle move? Do it repeatedly. There we go. What are these noises? They heard a fucking seal and like a walrus in there. Oh no, I crashed the game. See, this is the only downside with him being not official. Officially added to the game is he just has to like, like the mod dev just has to, it's kind of like an incomplete dinosaur structure and they're just adding bits of DNA wherever to make it playable, but it's still not complete. So certain things, if you try and do them, it will crash the game. Like you can't use his C move right now, which I'm assuming does the ink spray because it's actually not completed on the dev kit yet. Look at this, so you can actually successfully spawn them on land, isn't that amazing? See, this is Tribute Creature, I just changed the name of it so you guys can see what we're talking about. But this is a pretty damn sexy creature, I'm so excited for this to be added. These barbs around the tentacles freak me the fuck out, dude. I can just picture getting just grabbed by this thing, you're not going anywhere once these enter your skin. It's got like hundreds of tiny teeth. What in the fuck is that thing? Is that just a giant worm in this guy? This place is popping off, dude. Okay, so this guy, no, they're all the same color, just this rainbowish. God damn, I want to eat it so bad. Like, I love squid and octopus. It tastes delicious. Oh, but this is like the meatiest creature ever. Oh, you can't ride him in the sky. Damn it. What the hell happened here? What the shit? Okay, no, it's my Viking horns are just pushed down. 
I was like, what? How did this happen? I somehow managed to adapt these little these little devil horns onto my face, but it's just, it's just my Viking hat pushed down when I die. That was freaking me out at first. See, my glasses are all messed up too. I don't really want to fix my glasses. I don't really want to fix my hat though, because that looks badass. Look at this. It looks like the devil with style. Ooh, that's fucking sexy right there. We're just gonna keep it like that. I am just gonna pimp this creature out like crazy right now because I, dude, this is a pretty beast ass creature. I mean, this specific one is set for the Mystic Academy. Um. For, like the Mystic Academy stats and everything, it has to be able to compete with other Mystic Academy creatures, so obviously it is a little bit stronger. But even so, man, it's gonna be balanced to whatever the hell's in your world, regardless. It's like a fucking sea torpedo. Definitely smack that like button if you guys are also excited for this for this dude to be in your world, or if you're like me and you've already added them all to your world, so you already have it, because I cannot wait for things to be official. Look at how creepy that thing is once it gets those those claws in the back, dude. Could this thing be any more horrific? It's just a series of tentacles with hundreds of spikes on them with long extra jaded tentacles at the back with huge extra spikes on them. This guy's fucking ridiculous with a giant bird beak. And he's the most aerodynamic person in the world, I might say. And his face is that of like a mace, a medieval swinging ball of weaponry. Honestly, if it had boobs and was into Supernatural, I'd consider dating it. This thing's like the perfect creature. All right, we gotta go. We gotta go use this tentacle on some people. Man, I really wish I could press C though and use that C attack. That's what drives me crazy. I know, I know for a fact. I just feel like it's gotta be a thing. When you press C, it splooges ink all over the place. You know, like that that little chick in Finding Nemo who everyone makes ink all over the place. She's she's a freak. That one. There's so many tropical fish added with this mod too. It's kind of beautiful. What's going on, you big bastard? Huzzah! Okay, we might be biting off more than we can chew. This guy is actually bigger than us still. As cool and as fancy as we look with our tentacles. Now, can we attack from the front, or do we have to strictly bite them with our ass? How's this gonna How's this gonna work? Do you have to lure them over by shaking your tail feather, and then just just get him in the face? If you can just splooge in his face already with the ink. Come on, you bastard! He's so much bigger than us. Jesus Christ, we're like a perfect Scooby snack for him. Oh my God, we literally are just the perfect Scooby snack for this guy. Just get hit! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, he's- Oh damn it, this is what I was worried about, it was like stopping hitting as frequently. I may be overdoing it. See, one thing, even though the mod's pretty buggy right now, which obviously, obviously it is, it's- The thing is, I just was talking to the guy last night, and I was like, Hey, I noticed the giant squids in the dev kit, after I did that video, you should, uh, you should take a look, see if you could pop into the game, and by, like, morning time, he had already had it in the game and everything, spawn codes ready. So that right there was just pretty damn awesome. Like, even if it's a little buggy, I gotta say, to be able to use this creature just like that at the drop of a whim is a very special thing. And now to have it just circling my viking boat as I take it into the ocean with my fucking serpents on my thing. Oh my god, this is just perfect. This is amazing right here. Oh, don't you dare lag me. This is, um, this is a great sea creature. That'd be so creepy too, just like... Chilling in your viking boat along the water, you know, about to go pillage some people, pop some shrooms. That's what vikings did, right? They'd take like shrooms that disable the fear part of their brain, get butt naked and go chop people's heads off. It's like, that's like the dream right there. But, <laughs> what was I talking about? But okay, no, but imagine riding your longboat just through the ocean and seeing just coming across a squid the size of your boat. That'd be fucking terrifying. That's like the only reason I watch Discovery Channel is because of those few episodes where people got like clips over the side of their boat where the squid's eyeball- HOLY SHIT WE'VE GRABBED HIM! <laughs> You're coming with me! That's hilarious, you can just grab stuff and take it with you. I was hoping that was a thing too, because after like the Suko being able to grab anything that comes near it, or just being able to dolphin dive and take shit in its mouth, there's no way with our mighty tentacles we weren't going to be able to take stuff with us. How do you drop it? You just get out. Finish him off, buddy! You see, penis! He just abandoned the hell out of us right there. Oh, he's fall- What the hell? What the I wonder if this thing's purely gonna be a traitor? Or what's gonna go on there? You're gonna always betray me? If things get too messy, there we go. Just stole your best friend. That sucks, right? Oh my god, that's terrible. Straight up husband and wife just had his- Had his husband- Had her husband stolen from a giant squid. That's- That's rough stuff right there. That's the kind of shit that doesn't really happen that much nowadays. Now, how do I let you go? How do I- how do I release you? Is that even an option? Are you just with us now? I see he's like located perfectly within the beak, too. No, he's not. He's right by the beak. He's weirdly tailored. Okay, so clearly the animation's not there 100% yet to, to grab creatures. But it's basically there because he's not grabbing him with his tentacles. It's like going up into the torso. 
But at least we know that it's going to be a possibility. Which would be silly if it wasn't, actually, since the giant tentacles, if those aren't for grabbing shits, I don't know what they're for. But he's such a damn sea torpedo. This guy's falling right on our ass. I can't wait to put this giant mouth to work, though. I just also can't wait for modded versions of this creature. I understand this is the modded version of this creature. But I mean, like, once, like, the mega squid comes in. Because you know how they make bosses of a lot of creatures that are usually 100 times bigger? That's what I can't wait for. I'm gonna steal this dolphin. This is... Oh, shit. <laughs> Dude, that looks so so creepy from far away. It looks like a straight-up um, warper from Subnautica. Except not as terrifying because it won't warp you and doesn't have horrible. <laughs> Swooped! See, I lured it in like that. This would be the best fishing creature ever, right here. Like, the, if you need food for your base or anything, just go dive out, send like three of these little people out, three of these squids with people on top of them, collect food, come back up. I understand it's ridiculously easy to get food in the ark. There's food everywhere you look, there's just billions of food everywhere. But at least this way, you feel like more of a legit underwater hunter. I don't want to live in a world where you can't go around with your buddies on giant squids and go rope dolphins in for seafood for dinner. This is not the world I want to live in. I do notice you're not eating though, buddy, but you don't have any food. He's starving to death. Damn, son. This could not look sillier. It's like we're not even- we-, we look at my feet sticking out of here. <laughs> what the fuck are those feet doing just sticking perfectly out of this guy? You know what this- this Ichthy is actually not much smaller than this squid. Now that we go up here on the water, this Ichthy actually looks a lot bigger than the squid. This this is not a correct size proportion, I feel like. This fucker's huge. Like this thing, I feel like this thing could easily grab the squid just as easily. Like, you know, dolphin, I, I feel like it has to be glitched, in fact. Because we're holding it, it's glitched bigger. That has to be what's happening. Because that is like a giant-ass fish right there. Like, there's no, no my feet... We're like, maybe if we stood up completely top to bottom, we're the size of this thing's flipper. And that's not usually what happens. Damn it. I, I just feel like this, you know what, I'm just losing my damn mind now. It's too early in the morning. I don't know what the hell's going on anymore. I should have, I should have, I should have drinking more coffee first. Because now this doesn't, there's no fucking way this ish these this size. I, I, I refuse to believe it. This is like a megalodon right here. This is, this is a megalodon sized itch thee. Like, I'm losing my damn mind right now. There's, it's, it just, it just gets bigger because it's in the claws. That's what's happening. That's my final conclusion, and I'm sticking to it. Because if this is the if this is the trade, we're, if this is the size trade off we're doing right now, then this squid is not giant. He's actually wee petite. He he's more of just delicious food, if anything. All these spikes are starting to look more like vaginal hair now, if anything. Like he needs to shave, like or like he shaved a few days ago, but it's starting to get kind of like all prickly down there. It doesn't even look like spikes anymore. Either way though, dude, that beak is straight up terrifying, and eating people with it is the best thing ever. He just grips them so perfectly, he can't do anything. Between the high strengthened muscle claws gripping onto you and the spikes holding you in place, you got nothing. Sure, everything gets ten times bigger once you grab onto them, but you, it's just more food for your stomach, ultimately. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up here, see what's going on with these creatures. Definitely make sure to download this mod yourself. It is literally the only way to play with the giant squid right now. If it's a little buggy, you gotta excuse it. It's not complete on the dev kit. The mod dev is still awesome as shit. So, see if you had a good time watching, smack that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!